name is Annika Suman, and I'm the junior at the Early College of Guilford. And my name is Ayush Khanna, and I'm also the junior at the Early College of Guilford. And today we're presenting our app, Anatta. Which is a sophisticated alternative to the classic game Bumper. According to new data published by the Association of American Medical Colleges, the United States has seen estimated shortages between 37,800 and 124,000 physicians by 2034, including shortfalls in its primary and secondary care. As the shocking statistic shows, there is a major lack of healthcare workers, a problem which the generation of today can solve. However, there are a few applications out there that introduce anatomy to younger students. The purpose of our app, Anatomy, is to create a sophisticated virtual alternative to the classic game of operation that would inform users about the human body and help spark their interest towards health professions. Therefore, our target audience is younger students, especially elementary and middle schoolers, and we hope to inspire them to continue studying anatomy beyond this game. This is a general movement of our game, where mode is designed for users to learn about body parts, their locations, as well as their functions. Practice mode is designed to instruct users about various common, search common surgical procedures and the reasons behind doing them. So, here's a game demo. This page is the home screen. It has a button for learn mode and for practice mode. This is the intro page for level one of the learn mode for the skeletal system. In this game, you need to drag each bone to the correct purple dot. If you guess correctly, it gives you information about the part. Guessing incorrectly takes off points. You can also place multiple parts in at once. This is the completion screen, and you see the correct body on the right. And this is the digestive system level, fast forwarded. So we're now back to the home screen, and you can play the practice mode. Here's the screen that displays the first level, which is the wisdom teeth removal. There's directions as well as information about the procedure. Um, so this displays the uh, model of the teeth, and if you click any of the wrong teeth, there's no way, as you can see at the bottom, and there's also a stopwatch displayed on the left, and each, every 10 seconds that are passed, points are also being taken away. So you're able to drag the wisdom teeth to any of the two black rectangles, it doesn't matter which one, and you can check them all at once or in separate attempts. Next, after this level is completed, there's a completion screen, which in the next level is going to be a gallbladder removal. Completion screen for level two, and you can return back to the main screen. We use the programming language Python because it made our application versatile. We could easily integrate it with websites, as well as convert it to mobile apps, and also use it as a standalone PC game. We use PyGame, which is an integrated Python library for both interactive 2 games like our own, and we use the Spider IDE, which is specific to Python within the Anaconda Navigator environment, which made it easy for us to install libraries and other tools. 